My ex-husband, Paul, is a con artist who ruined my life. I met Paul on a blind date. He seemed like the perfect man, very charming. Paul told me that he had a PhD in his own business and he was a major in the Air Force Reserves. I couldn't believe that uh, someone like Paul would actually be interested in me. Everything I'd ever wanted was actually coming true. I believed everything that Paul told me. In reality, it was all a scam. Paul latched on to me very quickly. Within three weeks after I'd met Paul, he proposed to me. He was supposed to be being shipped out to Iraq. So he said, well, the easiest thing to do would be get married and said yes. I was in love. The day after our wedding, the day he was supposed to be shipped out, he told me that he couldn't go because his accountant had embezzled all his money. I'm shocked, I'm just kind of numb. We go from money's not an object to no money in a day. They repossessed my wedding ring three days after the wedding. Two weeks after our wedding, he told me that he was a convicted felon. I got sick to my stomach. It's like, who did I marry? Did he murder somebody? Is he a drug dealer? I felt deceived. That was the beginning of him destroying my dream. Paul was very controlling. He wouldn't let me get the mail. He wouldn't let me answer the phone. He wouldn't let me talk to family or friends. After a while, I noticed that the checks were bouncing and the bill collectors were calling. His solution for that was he was going to get a huge settlement and we would be fine. I got really suspicious and I called the attorney that was handling Paul's settlement and he told me that he had no idea what I was talking about. That's when I knew that everything Paul told me was a lie and I contacted the police. I found out that Paul has a criminal record in several states for forgery, theft by deception, and fraud. He was never in the military because he had flat feet. He didn't even have a job, let alone his own business. There was actually a warrant out for his arrest. I just got physically sick. I fell to the floor, I started hyperventilating. I just kept saying, this isn't happening, this isn't happening. The police arrested him the next day. After Paul was arrested, I was taken aback to find out that he had taken out a life insurance policy on me with an accidental death clause, which meant that in the event of my death, he'd walk away with $100,000 cash. The police psychological evaluation of Paul was that he is antisocial, passive aggressive. Wasn't Charles Manson also antisocial? Paul knew I was the reason he got arrested. Ever since this has happened, I'm afraid that Paul is planning retaliation for me putting him in jail. Hello? Hello? I don't trust people. Can I help you? I lock my house whether I'm in it or not. I don't walk my dogs after dark. I don't go anywhere by myself. I feel like he took my freedom away from me. I don't want to be afraid all the time. I've never been afraid in my life. I want my confidence back. Okay, now, my first question is very, very important. Do you understand, get, and appreciate how totally you did not deserve what happened to you? I do to a point, but yet I, sh I should have known. I mean, I should have stopped it, and I didn't. Well, actually, that's where I disagree, because you did stop it. You did stop it, and you stopped it really early in the game. A lot of these guys are good. They're good. You know, con is short for confidence. They have the ability to inspire confidence in other people. You're, you're dealing with a professional here. You're dealing with somebody that that this is their whole life, and you're an amateur. You're, just a, you're, you're a normal person that has a loving and giving and accepting spirit, and, and you meet a predator. And you discovered it really early on. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.